We are family. Damn. You look like a fucking idiot. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Dudes Talk Shit, episode 42. I'm here with Miss Chris, and conspicuous by his absence is TJ, the Chicago kid. I don't know what he's going to call himself today on, on the thing, but um, thank you, Miss Chris, for uh, joining us. Uh, how's the quarantine going? It's going. It's going. Mm-hmm. I'm hanging. Uh, mine's good. I got plenty of drink. I'm, I'm good to go. I got plenty of drink, too. I'm good to go. Uh. Now you uh well here here it is. Well look at this. We are already live and uh we started because this motherfucker was late. Imagine he was taking a poop. He late as shit. We we we've been started for about a good uh three minutes or so. So I you know he, he wiping the cold out his eye, you know what I'm saying? So it look like now, now he's gonna hang <laughs> Now you go hang on. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm about I'm about to wait. I wait oh. for my text to go. Watch my text go off. I'm gonna turn the sound up so you can hear my text go off. Uh, I'm trying to think of I can invite on here, but mm-hmm. yeah, we about to see. So um you glowing. You weren't glowing like this the last time you was on the show. Um Probably because I tried to drink some more water. Less fast food. Well, I don't. Ha- I haven't had fast food in two weeks. I had some sardines today. Other than that, I have had to cook. Mm. You I what? What a what? Down. Good. You had to do what? I had to cook. Oh, what? Hell had frozen over. You can say that again. Hold on. I gotta know what you cook. <laughs> Yeah, I pulled out the grill and everything. What'd you cook? Uh, let's see. I grilled some steak. I grilled some chicken. I had like some zucchini squash. Um, what else have I had? There you go. <laughs> oh, he had he went out to change his name. Are you fucking serious? Oh my god. <laughs> I feel you, man. Fuck Donald Trump. I feel you. <laughs> I, I understand how you feeling. Uh, <laughs> as you can see on the line, it's me, myself, Mr. Unprofessional. Um, also, we have uh, TJ, fuck you, Donald Trump. And it, have, ain't fuck, it, ain't fuck, it ain't fuck Donald Trump, it's fuck you, Trump. Man, fuck me for what? I don't do that. What? Fuck, fuck you, nigga. Go what ahead. I, what, Go I thought he meant Donald Trump. Oh, he does mean Donald Trump because no, no, I don't. <laughs> his motherfucking name, his name, he's trying to be funny, but fuck him. <laughs> what, my name? Yeah, you know what the fuck you doing, nigga? I don't know this. <laughs> hey, hey I mean, just a, a name somebody gave to me, so I'm gonna use it right now. But um, anyway, we have Miss Chris on the line. I'm pretty sure you've met TJ before, haven't you, Chris? Yes, I have. Okay. I... He doesn't seem very excited right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's that. You know, that's the universal sign for oh this shit. That's what the universal sign for that. I is. haven't. I haven't said a word. You don't have to. It's always nonverbal communication. Okay. Um, nah, I just get out the phone. Oh, so, a good conversation. I just wanted. I wanted to end. Oh. I'm not a big. I'm not a big. I'm not a big talker on the phone, and people just call me and they just. I guess I'm a good ear because I don't say much of shit. They like it when I don't call them out on this shit. When I call them out on this shit, then the phone call conversations, it goes differently. But people just call just be want to talk. And I'm like, I'm a texter. I just, yeah, I, I don't, I want that fucking lithium battery up on my ear. So, yes, it's 4G. This is already killing us already, 4G. So, speaking yeah. of that, we're going to get into uh, something tonight. I, I wanted to talk about 5G and oh, God. conspiracies that we can either debunk or whatever. And then I want to get an update on uh, quarantine sex. So, Miss Chris, you haven't, you said you haven't had any quarantine sex? No, she must be out of alcohol. <laughs> alcohol and plenty of batteries. She out of alcohol. Uh, you know she don't do nothing unless she got the juice in Yeah, it. Yeah, well, yeah. She, she's like J- Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde with the alcohol. Mm-hmm. So right now, I can tell you have not had any alcohol. Have I any alcohol? 
You, yeah, I am. When? Early today or right now? Well, I was at work all day today, actually. Oh, it just ain't kick in yet. No. Okay. All right. I can tell. Um, well, I've had alcohol, and I also want to have uh, tell a story about. Um, I have had quarantine set recently, and um, it's something the pussy I had was probably the best pussy I've had in a long time. Mm. And you know, and, and and me and my boy, we talk about it like, man, oh, pussy and pussy, pussy is pussy, ain't nothing really, I mean, you know, different, blah blah blah. But no, 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 I, I, I beg to differ. Uh, this was some good pussy earlier this week. You risked the Rona for some pussy. I've been, I'm, this person don't go nowhere and I don't go nowhere. So oh. if they don't go nowhere, I don't go nowhere. They come here. What? what? Mm. See how you just, she tried to put, she tried to sex shame you. No, she, tried to, she, tried to, she tried to, she tried to sex shame you. You risk some pussy. You risk the Rona to get some pussy. Sex shame you. And didn't even know the story behind it. Okay, well, tell us the story. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Well, no, no, no. We don't want to know. No, no, tell her the story. She already made a judgment. She tried to sex shame you. I wasn't making a judgment. I'm like, that's see how women see how women do. See how sisters do. Mm -hmm. They they shame us for being our natural selves. Now, if you was over there lying saying I, I haven't had sex and I'm saving myself for marriage, <laughs> then she would have been thinking you was either a liar or gay. But if you say I had some corona sex during the, just some quarantine sex, now all of a sudden you the bad guy. I'm telling yeah, you, man. Why, why, how do you figure that she got corona or I got corona? You're right. You you know you're right. I made a judgment. I did. Mm hmm Tried you to sex shame. That. Look at you just looking away. You like mm, I didn't. Mm. She sex shame. Sex shame. Cause well, maybe you get some quarantine sex, you'll be better. That's what it is. I'm just being a hater. Well, get you some quarantine sex. I'm 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 probably gonna have to do that. All right, well, I would suggest you do that, and 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 you'll have a whole new outlook. I need to get some. I need to get some sound effects. Let me download us. Let me download a soundboard app because I see I'm gonna need it during this damn podcast. No, oh, no. Yeah, I would like to know what sound effect you were gonna play. Yeah, but I tell you what, this this was some. Maybe it was the fact that uh, I I ain't been around people when it's been. But this was some magnificent, magnificent pussy. And the good thing, and, and the thing about it is, we didn't we didn't even do the oral. And normally that's a prerequisite for me. I must have oral. Oral yes. sex is Def a must. Definitely you know? was not a white girl. Definitely wasn't a white girl. No, it wasn't a white girl. girl. Yeah, it wasn't a white girl. No, it wasn't a white girl. White girl make it their business to give you head. White girl do what? White girl make it their business to give you head because okay. white girl, white girls are actually interested in their partners, particularly black hey, males. Uh, they're interested in their partner's satisfaction as opposed to sisters. They just want to get their nut and then you get the fuck off. Me. Yeah. Or, or, you know, if they don't get their nut, then, you know, you, you get you your worst, you worst motherfucker yeah. in the world. You ain't, you ain't shit. I ain't fucking, you no more. And all this, but, yeah. oh, but get out. Yeah, yeah, do you really think it takes that much to make us come ladies? Y'all, y'all ladies got to get that shit out your head, man. Just cause we came and we like, Oh shit. We do that with every bitch we come with. Oh shit. <laughs> So I, didn't, that because I, didn't even want to, I didn't even want to say that. <laughs> like Yo, you this could... is something. This is something I've been wanting to say for a long time. Go on, bro. But if y'all, if I'm tired of these ladies talking about, well, I know I got some good shit. How did you fuck yourself? So how do you know your shit is good? And number two, if you say, well, because I heard him, he was all. We do that every time we about to come. Most of the time, we 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 most for most of us are not silent comers. So we gonna be like, oh shit, oh shit. That don't mean that's not a that's not a description of how good your sex is. Come feels good when we come. So y'all ladies thinking because we said, oh shit, that you are the bomb, uh, reverse a little bit. Let me just say that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. I don't have anything to add. It sounds about right to me. So, But I'm I, will say this. I will I, say this. I, I, I'm going to interject here real quick, Trump. I'm just, I'm just back on the fact that she sex shamed you. Hold on, I got my headphones on in reverse. They should be this way. Y'all see my fake beats? These What's fake it? like a motherfucker. <laughs> I got them for $12 on Amazon. Fuck it, because my beat studio's broke. And I wasn't about to pay no motherfucker $250 for another head, set of headphones. And I needed some headphones, so. My ass paid, I got four, I had four beat studios in the studio and all of them broke. Yeah, I'm not, that. them motherfuckers too flimsy. So from now on, when the studio reopens, you motherfuckers will be using uh, 
uh what's a dollar five what's that five dollar store the uh uh yeah five, five below headphones will be in there or bring your own I'm yeah, they they look like they look like B solo but they 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 eye joys but I'm still saying <laughs> I'm still saying she 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 sex shamed you which is sad like let me let me put it this way uh-huh it's a lot of bullshit going on during the corona apocalypse it's a lot of bullshit going on case in point I got this young lady that I know that it's a lot of bullshit about her, right? <laughs> Here the telltale signs. Is she on the uh is she on the line on the show with us right now? Nah. Okay, okay. No, 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 not Chris. Okay. Chris is full of shit, but yeah, she is not Chris this time. Okay. So that she's married, but she's separated from her husband, so she's sad. All the phone calls I get from her are like after 9, 9 30 in the evening. First, I get the text message, can you talk? Then if I say yes, yeah, she'll call me. Before I was entertaining this shit, now I just ignore it, right? So I've been putting her in a place of stages. Like, she's been talking, I want you to come over here, and I want you to do this and do that. And I'm like, all right, well, what's up? She's like, yeah, but my house not clean. So I'm like, after these excuses, I say, you know what, you full of shit. What do you mean? I said, you talk all, you call us, you call me all the time and talk all this shit on the phone. And then when it's time to bust a move, you got all these excuses. You you know what you're right. You tell me, you want to come over here? I said, no, nah, I got somebody here already. <laughs> oh, 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 you just going to put me in my... It's not a matter of me putting you in your place, but sweetheart, I'm too fucking old to play these games. This is what somebody in their 20s doing. Oh, somebody in their 20s is chasing pussy. So she hits me up yesterday around... Maybe around one o'clock, she was going in the store. Now it's the weekend. I'm surprised she called me early because I said something to her. Like, you you seem to can't talk or can't say nothing to me until late at night, which lets me know you got a man that lives with you. And when he leaves, that's when you play in the game. So she calls me. She's on her way to the store, the restaurant, to pick up her food, as if this isn't the coronavirus, <laughs> right? This is corona apocalypse. <laughs> Everything is closed. But you going in to get your food. So. She on the phone. She talking. You want to come over to the house tonight? So I, I really don't. I have absolutely no desire to go over to this motherfucker's house for reasons that I'm not going to explain. But I say, um, yeah, I'll come over tonight. Good. She like, all right, cool. Well, I'm going to go in here and get my food. I'm going to call you when I come right back out. It's like 1 o'clock, 1 30. 11 30 last night. Can you talk? I don't respond. Cause that's some trained puppy shit. This is the shit that you do. So she called me today, and she she always want to talk nasty and talk about sex. So I just listen. I don't even I don't even engage her. I'll be like, mm-hmm. yeah. You would think somebody would pick up on the fact of my lack of interest because all of this nasty shit you're talking to me on the phone. I'm really not. I'm not biting. So today. She's talking here yeah, because I think like a man. I'm like, no, 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 no. You don't have male tendencies like you think. I said, because a man could meet a motherfucker on the street, not know her, not have any inclination of who she is, who she belongs to, what she got. Go home, take her home, and fuck her. And if she let him, he'll fuck her raw. That's a man tendency because we tend to think with our dicks and we're reckless. I said, women are a little, little bit more. So you want to keep trying to prove to me that you, you just brought that lifestyle. So she hits me. With um, well, I, I do meet people. And I'm like, and, and I gave her that example. So she was like, well, I do meet dudes, and I, I do have sex with them without condom. Okay, now, bitch, I really don't want to. Fuck. I really don't want to fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> Since you made that admission. Yeah. So why? Know, it's just like it's this whole like men are starved for attention in the way that we go try to make a lot of money. We go get a nice car. We'll sit in the club and we'll buy, buy the bar, buy the bar, buy you know bottle service and shit like that. That's oh, our man. way of seeking attention. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's Impressive. just like Impressive. you know, women have had an ass out, and I, 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 I hate. I have to charge it to me getting older because at this stage in my life, a lot of that shit just does not impress me. You got your ass out. You're trying to talk. You got you got a young lady that works for your station, or she had a show on your station. 
Well, she used to didn't have a show on your station. And when I when I talk about this, I'm not going to, because I got in trouble for mentioning names before. But Was this the same person? No, it's not different? the same person. Okay, okay. Somebody else. But she's always talking nasty on her IG. Always. Who is this? She has some kind of sex show on your station. And okay. she's always talking nasty. Yeah, I know you're talking about. She talking like she's single. She talking like she ain't got a minute. It's just like, Bitch, why are you so starved for attention? Like, this is the only thing about you that you feel like, I mean, you normally can't draw flies to shit. Mm -hmm. So in order to get the attention of men, you talking all kind of nasty. And then when a nigga jump in your inbox, you fucking offended because the only thing he want to talk to you about is the dick sucking skills you just discussed on your IG page. Thank you. It's just, it's just, it's, it's, it's annoying as fuck. I just, I just find myself on Instagram and on Facebook, and I'm just like, unfollow. Thank you. Thank unfollow. You. And you get mad when dick pics in your, you get dick Right, you get mad because you get dick pics, but this is yeah. the energy you put out. So when yeah. I come across somebody that's going out of their way, using sex to attract attention to themselves, I just think, would I take you home to my mother? No. I don't want to have shit to do with you. Pussy come a do diamond dozen. I got a pocket full of change. Yeah, just, can, bitch, can you cook? What's your credit score like? Do you want to cook? What's your relationship like with your father? Because you obviously don't have a relationship with your father with your ass all out on fucking social media. But I just thought I'd get that off. Because she's going to hit me at about, she's going to hit me about 10, 11 o'clock tonight. Hey, can you talk? Why? Because during the day, you can't talk, bitch. I can talk anytime I want to. Now I lay in bed with a motherfucker. I can talk when I want to. You the motherfucker that ain't got no proper whole control. But go on. I'm done. No, no, no. I I agree. I agree. I uh yeah, that shit. Uh, you know, you you like, okay, but if I go in your inbox, you can be like, these thirsty niggas, but you got your ass out everywhere. It's just, it's just, you got your ass out there, but oh, I got my ass. I don't give you permission to go into my inbox or whatever, but but and sing me a dick pic, but you 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 got your version of a dick pic on the fucking timeline. Your ass is out. And it's your like your version it's, of it's, a dick pic. It's it's like um the comedian Ryan, I forgot his name, but he says, You don't have fans. I'm not your fan, I'm a pervert. <laughs> That's all it That's is. It. You don't have fans, you don't have followers, you have perverts. Who like to not have to go to the motherfucking remember how you said in order to before the internet, um, you had to go to the store if you wanted to see naked ass, you had to go buy Playboy, you had to go buy Hustler, you had to go buy Penthouse, 20 oh, different magazines. You got to go buy neck, you had to go pay to go see that. Hey. You bitches put them out of motherfucking business. Let me okay. I want to I want to jump on something. Do you you have something to say about that, Chris? No, no, no. Go, go ahead. You very quiet. The liquor has not kicked in yet. It'll kick in in a minute. Mm -hmm. But I'm listening because you know I, I I can understand the whole ass out there because as I got older, I did some of it on IG. But after a while, it's like why why am I doing this? There's no point. But I'm not is, the type of man I want. Well, my ass out now. I might classically have my ass out. That's different. Night. That's different. If you're taking a photo shoot or something and it's a class, but you're not purposely bending over, sticking it in front of the camera, that's right. not different. It's just out and it's a picture or whatever, a photo, something nicely done. I can dig that. But if it's just out and you looking back at the camera and it's, every picture is you purposely putting your ass out. like It's like sticking it out on purpose. You know what I'm saying? I, one, of my, one of my favorite adult film stars... I, I I unfollowed her with yesterday. Oh, this man! Oh, he he. <laughs> no, I've actually had. Look, I know this girl. I've had sex with this girl a couple of times, but she was on. She knows Joe Budden. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna say who it is. Jada Five. I don't know that girl. Dark skin, big titties, pretty as shit. She was on Joe Budden, and Drake was in the comments. And she was talking about how bad she wanted to fuck Drake and blah, 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 blah. And I'm looking at her and she didn't want to come on at first because she didn't have on a hair together. She didn't have a makeup on. She fucked around and got on camera. Didn't have on no makeup, no lip gloss. 
Her eyebrows weren't done. She didn't have on the eyelashes. You knew she had on a wig with some braids and a wig cap on under it. You just knew looking at her. But she was giving a face, but she was giving a Is face. Yes. She was giving a face like she had makeup on. And her face was just completely undone. And I'm like, this bitch is ugly. <laughs> this bitch is ugly without no makeup. How could she have fooled me the many times Ooh. I've seen her? Oh, go wait ahead. a minute. I thought y'all like the natural, no makeup, no weave, no just. We do. Bar. We do. But that don't mean when you out of your makeup, you look good. She's a motherfucker who needs makeup in order to look good. <laughs> I mean, cause she was, she was, you know, perking her lips all up like she normally do when she got them all glossed up with her motherfucking mac and cheese. And I'm like, bitch, you look retarded. <laughs> Your lips look dry. You need to lick them motherfuckers. She, and Drake, Drake started joning on her. He started, he started cracking on her. Oh, so man. now she's looking that much more like an idiot. And I'm like, at some point in time, you have to be, because see, a lot of those women that have been in that lifestyle, that's been in the industry, they get upset when niggas jump in their inbox and proposition them for sex. And I'm like, bitch, the only reason he's following you or he's acknowledging you is because he watched you fuck on film. You have to know your fucking lane. And a lot of, the, a lot of times women tend to seek out attention, no matter what kind of attention it is, but then try to discriminate against what type of attention they get. And it makes absolutely no sense. I got like, I'm, I got four daughters and a granddaughter. I got four daughters and a granddaughter. So my oldest daughter, my oldest two daughters are adult age. Mm -hmm. And my oldest daughter, she curts the fuck out on social media. And I have to pull her in, you know, and I'm like, yo, you. You looking like a fucking stone. And this is the shit I used to entertain back in the day when I was younger. And I'm looking at my daughter doing that. I'm like, damn, you look like a fucking idiot. So when I see her doing it and then a parallel to someone else that's doing it that I don't give a fuck about, you look like an idiot too. So it just, I just wish some women would understand that the attention that you're seeking and the attention that you're getting when you're exploiting yourself like that is only attractive to undeveloped boys who aren't mature, mm -hmm. who don't have a lot of shit going for them for themselves, don't have no life experience, don't know much of shit, and dirty old men that's going to exploit you. Mm -hmm. Them the only two type of dudes that want to see that. Anybody that's that got any kind of intelligence, they don't want to see that shit. Okay. Do you, can I have a conversation with you besides your ass is naked? I mean, it's good to look at, but is that all you want to be is good to look at? You don't want nobody that want to sit across from you at a dinner table and have an actual conversation with you about who you are? Because we're not thinking about trying to find out who you are. We're thinking about fucking you. That's it. You just look good to us. That's it. That's, it. that's how you get attention. It's easy to get attention, but how do you keep it? That's, that's the whole, that's the different thing. Now, speaking of makeup, I know, and I'm sick and tired of this shit. Have y'all seen this TikTok don't rush challenge? I'm so tired of that. I'm, if I yeah. see one more, you like that, John? I'm, I'm getting, I'm really getting tired of it. And if, it, when they go like this to the camera and they come back and now they got makeup on and shit. Yeah, it's 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 getting it's, it's, it's getting so overwhelming. So what? We run everything into the ground. Right. It's yeah. it's. It's cool if you're gonna do it, but at least have some kind of creativity with it. Uh, add a different, add a, your own touch to it. Creativity oh. is just not there. Somebody do one in a couple days. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Well, do something different. Somebody asked me to do one today because I wasn't. How about I'm, this? How about you do this? Here's something good, different you can do. Instead okay. of doing this with your makeup on, have your makeup on, do this, and come back with your makeup off. How about everybody <laughs> do that? <laughs> if you do that. I guarantee you'll get some hits. Because a lot of motherfuckers do, they do it in their regular clothes, but in their regular clothes, they face made up. And then they put on a nice clothes. No, bitch, do it fully dressed and then do it how you get up in the morning. Call it the don't rush 
just got off work, just got back in child. <laughs> I'm about to put that shit on motherfucking social media. I, I, I want to see, I want to see the don't rush challenge in when y'all first start off dressed up, and then when y'all come back, y'all don't have on no makeup or weave. Do it in reverse. That's what I want to see. Do it in reverse. The reverse don't rush challenge. Reverse don't rush challenge. I'm a man, you know what? It's she. Yeah, yeah. I, but that now that would be something. That I mean, would be I'm like something. this coronavirus is going a little long. <laughs> and it's probably gonna go longer. Yeah. Going longer. Uh, Eventually, uh, <laughs> you gonna see who the fuck y'all are. Yeah, yeah. Your makeup gonna run out. Hey, Your makeup. Oh, uh, I I cut my own hair the other day. Mm. I didn't. I didn't do too bad. You didn't do too bad. Besides that patch on the side, but that's okay. No, I'm I just know. joking. <laughs> it is one for real. It is one for real. Cause my barber offered to come over, and I'm like, no. Uh -uh. If uh, I'm gonna get the Rona, start looking like a snack. Not a haircut. So you might I get some some dick in a haircut. No, no, it's not even like that. <laughs> a dick in a pain. <laughs> not even like that. No. Motherfucking dick in a temper table. <laughs> hey. Uh, you know what? Yeah, yeah. Chris, do that. Some fucking in the fade. All right. Do, do that shit. Do that. I, I guarantee. If you, if you you get off the phone, tell your girl to do it tonight before somebody hop on that shit. Do I doubt anybody gonna hop on that shit? But because all you gotta do is take off eyeliner. That's all you gotta do. Yeah. You, you don't put on a lot of makeup. You don't so put it, and you never get your nails done. I mean, the nails look right, but you don't like getting your nails done. Or something? I used to get it done, and I real realized like why was I doing it? They were just fucking up my real nails, and it was expensive and aggravating to maintain. So I just stopped doing it. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I still my food. Well, I mean, to end it all, um, I'm scared to to I'm scared to fuck her again because I'm afraid that the pussy won't be as good the second time around. That it was the first time. I, I'm. I think I might be disappointed. So I like to see her in the eyes of she got good pussy now. Instead of when she come back, it was only good because it was the first time we did it, and it was something you know. So, so you yeah. Get on the note. Yeah, I, let's end it. Let's end it on a good note. And, and you know now, now or if you come over this time now, I have to try the head game. You know then now we have to go to head because you know yeah. But anyway, that's a whole nother topic. Um. All right. So look. We got this, um, this, uh, uh, oh, everybody know about the Corona thing or whatever, man. But I saw something you posted the other day, TJ, about 5G. Now, everybody talking oh about 5G. God. I've seen a lot of videos where dudes taking their radiation, uh, radiation, uh, meter or whatever that shit is up to the 5G tower and the shit goes ballistic. So, I'm like, is, is it that that can't be phony? It's a radiation meter, so well, a lot of things do have small amounts of radiation in them. Yeah, I mean, of course, but the way people making it sound is like 5G is the end of the world. Like you put it, it's going to fry you, literally fry your brain. So, so what I posted was because I'm sure Chris didn't see it. Uh, uh she's in the military. She knows secrets. She's not going to tell me. There are. Uh, there, I there are corona cases in 187 countries in the world. Yet, only five countries, the United States, China, Germany, South Korea, and Great Britain have 5G towers. What the fuck are y'all talking about? 5G towers are only located in five countries, yet 187 countries have reported cases of coronavirus. Now, hold on. How in the fuck? Bullshit. How in the fuck are these towers responsible for the transmission of coronavirus on a wide scale level when it's only Five countries that had them out of 187 countries that's affected. No. I don't is the think, problem. I don't think a lot of people are saying 5G is causing Corona. I think what a lot of people are saying is that 5G has a lot of radiation and may be the next thing to literally fry our brains or, or, or cause, you know, or, or increase radiation amongst us. I don't, I haven't heard too many people saying 5G is the cause of Corona. 5G radio waves 
does not even penetrate your clothes. That's the technology. So for me, I, I keep seeing the conspiracy theories, of course, and I ignore it because I feel like what we're going through is stressful enough. And I, I feel like with me sometimes, certain things, if I start opening up that can of worms, it, you just fall down a rabbit hole. But I'm going to go back and I'm going to look. But I don't believe I'm, I'm I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but at the same time, there's a lot of shit that has been said five, six years ago that are, that are actually happening now that they said. And I was like, man, that sounds shit sound crazy. And it's actually happening. So I believe some of the shit. I don't believe all of the shit. I believe a lot of the shit is made up by people who just want to sensationalize and, 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 and you know, fear and all that shit. But there's a lot of shit that has been said. That is now coming to fruition. It's coming. It's true now. It's, it's happening. That five or six years ago, you you didn't, you had no idea about. Don't now, be don't be vague. Give us examples. Was, that's what I'm saying. Like what? What's that's happening what right now? Five or six years ago, it was it was. Where did I, I hear this on? Like, I heard. Not only did I hear it on Alex. No, no. Jones, let him let him let him go, Chris. Let him go. Not only did I hear it on Alex Jones, but I heard it on a couple of other um conspiracy uh um shows that the plan was to basically set off a worldwide pandemic um chemical basically a biological weapon that would affect the entire world and have us pretty much on lockdown that would lead into martial law now that hasn't happened the martial law part hasn't happened but what they're saying what he said is pretty much kind of happening right now except word for word for what he said now so so but no go ahead i want i want no, i want no, no, you to no. get it all out no no I'm not saying that I believe in everything they say, but there's been a few things and there's some more instances too. I can't remember right now that has come true. Okay. Let me jump in here real quick. That's bullshit. There have been motherfucking in the Bible. It talks about pestilence and plagues. Mm hmm. This is shit that have, people have been saying in books. David Icke had been saying in his books since the eighties. He's a conspiracy theorist. This is this is not anything that's new. The only thing this is is fucking coincidental. This is what black people have to stop doing. I agree. This is what we have to stop doing. We I have agree. to stop assigning some type of conspiracy to. Everything that fucking happens. I agree a hundred percent. We have to. Kobe was killed because he was fighting over the black mamba trademark. Um, Michael Jackson was killed because they was trying to steal the masters to his music. Um, Prince, Prince was, was killed. killed. <laughs> it's, was. It's, it's fucking endless. Everything. And one thing, one thing I've learned is that the information, the age of information is a blessing and a curse. I tell people all the time that the internet should just not be used for posting selfies and circulating bullshit. Because a lot of times the things that people latch on to is shit that they could just easily prove is false with a Google search. I had a friend of mine, because we've been going back and forth with this, she hits me with some link to a video about this same 5G bullshit. Oh, I just need you to listen to this because it, it'll make sense to you. There's a video of some white dude talking about 5G. I look, when I clicked on it, it said 30 minutes. I said, I'm not giving up 30 minutes of my life to listen to this shit. Here's the funny thing. And this is where I like, I don't, I don't subscribe to a lot of conspiracy theories. I listen to them, but I've been, like I said, I've been raised enough. I know what the Bible says. I know what it says in the last days and all that. I know what's happening. I know what has been predicted. All this is in the Bible. However, the funny thing about black people and conspiracy theories is that when it involves one of our own doing it, we don't acknowledge that. Hey. So all the conspiracy theories that have, you don't really hear that from us about Barack Obama and the conspiracy theories that he was out to do this and to do that. They don't talk about that. But when it's something, uh, uh, you know, you all you got to do is put it in on, on, on Instagram or something like that. And somebody's going to believe it with the 5G mess, with the, with the, um, with all the other stuff, you put it on social media, people, you're going to have dumb sheep who are going to follow it. Now, it, you, it, it goes to show how if people really thought about shit, if you look in the rearview mirror, social media will tell you 
how less intelligent, how many people are less intelligent than you are at this stage in your life. Now, there are people in front of you that are more intelligent. They have more information. But if you look in the rearview mirror, you'll see a lot of stupid motherfuckers oh, yeah. that's behind you. And it's, it's like Trump said, you put some shit on social media and people just run with it. Yep. Cut it's, some videos. It's, and- it's easy. It's easy. Like I, I got, I got, I got somebody I consider a dear friend going back maybe 20 years. His name, Frank Muhammad. He, he's in the nation of Islam. And he told me one thing and it has stuck with me. And every time something like this goes on, I go back to us having a conversation in the parking lot of, outside of Moss number four, outside of his stand where he sold his bean pies and he sold his books and it was this. He said, the white man has been trying since he's been on this planet to show you that he's a devil. And our black ass refused to believe at that particular time he's a devil. So what does he do? He does something more devilish <laughs> to prove of us, prove to us that he's the devil. Now we're on a planet that's occupied by 7.5 billion people. We are fucking destroying the planet. Mm. And in our body, when a foreign object comes into our system, our body produces antibodies. It produces, it goes into a fever to fight off whatever that infection is to eject that infection from the body. Couldn't this just be the earth's fucking way of telling us stop fucking up the planet? It's too many of you motherfuckers on the here. fucking Australian fucking the Australian forest been burnt down. Mm-hmm. Half of the motherfucking Amazon been burnt down, and they consider those the the lungs of the planet. Yeah. We, we we kicking up carbon, and you know. Do you realize that in LA? Uh, go ahead. You want to say something? Girl? No, I just said and the Antarctica's melting. All that shit. Right, right. we fucking up the planet. Maybe this is the. Maybe this is the plant. This is the planet releasing antibodies mm-hmm. into the system to cause itself to get rid of the problem. And if you look at the common denominator of what the fucking problem is, I ain't even got to say it because well, I know I some white people gonna look at this and be like, "Oh my God, you're racist." Well, I mean, think about the shit y'all do. Look at look at. I mean, like 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 I'm saying, I love all people, all colors, but the facts are the facts, man. I mean, if you look through history. They have really fucked this planet up and fucked the people on the planet up. So they they have done a lot of shit. And again, I love all all people, all colors. I don't, but I'm the facts are the facts, man. Fuck that. But I will say this: in L.A., do you realize uh, I was reading something, and it has to be true. I, uh, but I'm gonna say, ever since they did that quote unquote lockdown, do you know L.A. has had the cleanest air mm-hmm. the past week? No, the they, they, they said they had the cleanest <laughs> air in the last. 40 years. The last 40 years because all these niggas is in the house now. And they can see the Himalayas now for like, like 125 miles. They probably away. can now. You know what I'm saying? They said LA has had the cleanest year. And all they, it's only been what? A month? Since these motherfuckers been there? One month. One month. One, one month. A lot 40 of, years. One, one month. And all it is take is is to shut, shut shit down in order for us to get this shit back in order. But again, like I say, black people, you know, if y'all listening, Stop thinking everything is a fucking conspiracy because it, it's, it becomes dismissive of facts. If you just write shit off as a conspiracy, that's why we always so left behind because we don't want to do the fucking homework. We don't want to do the homework. You send me a video, a 30 minute video, of some white man says something about 5G and it's just like you're not using common sense. Number one, you sent me something because you have an issue with 5G. You think 5G is so harmful. You sent that to me from a phone. That's using 5G. You don't <laughs> see where the problem is. You don't see why I can't just take you fucking seriously. <sighs> and guess how many gonna get 5G next year? When is when is the only when, phone out there? When that new phone come out, they're gonna go get that 5G. They're gonna be, it's gonna be lines of Apple, it's gonna be lines of Google, all that you know, Android, all that shit. So yeah, I mean, like I said, I listen to it. Um, I research it and I draw my own conclusions. I don't follow the sheep. I draw my own conclusions yeah, I, over I my research. 
Mm-hmm. Past people last year, they get mad because I'm like, where you get this from? Where you pull that from? Right, where you get this from? Uh, well, see, on the, on the, nah, bro. <laughs> well, what's the, I mean, look, if you hear the conspiracies, okay, fine, that's cool. But at the end of the day, don't let them tell you where to go. You do your own research into it and draw your own conclusion about it, period. You know what I'm saying? And 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 then let it be. And number one, let's say these conspiracy theories are true. Let's just say, what, what are you gonna do? What you gonna do about it? Continue still still use your 5G phone. Yeah, what are you gonna do about it? You know what I'm saying? If these conspiracy theories are true and it's a one and it's a and it's a deep state and a warm and a, and the people trying to make one world government, and all you're doing is listening to it. I don't see you going up and to the Capitol. I don't see none of you motherfuckers marching it. All you're doing is talking about it. Well, this is this is what I did. This is what I did the other day. Somebody in my inbox on Instagram arguing this shit. I said, well, do you know anybody personally? Not somebody that knows somebody. Not somebody that has a friend or somebody. But do you know anybody personally that have been harmed by 5G radio waves? And the conversation... Shut up. You can't tell me firsthand information that you know that this 5G shit is fucking with people. But you're going off what somebody's telling you. And it's it's just we're we're easily it's we're we're easily led in the wrong direction, hard to leave in the right direction. And I'd rather be over here in the corner, right by myself, than over here. In the corner with everybody else wrong in a motherfucker. It's okay to be unpopular. It's okay to be unliked. It's okay to be the person that nobody really wants to be around because I'd rather go to my grave knowing that I wasn't living my life like a fucking idiot. Do you know how many of these motherfuckers, black people anyway, secretly love Donald Trump? But they won't say it publicly because they I don't, th- I don't think I know. I don't think at this point, I think the people that love Donald Trump are, are well, black people that love Donald Trump. And I don't think it's like they say we think. <laughs> I really don't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this corona shit has got people fucked up out here. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. And it's all dumb Trump's fault. I, I got some dumb mm-hmm. Trump lovers on my social media, and they're not pumping his bullshit like they would normally do. <laughs> normally, it's every time Trump does something, they trying to find a way to defend it. They're not defending this shit. So they're not defending the most that they're saying is, yeah, he dropped the ball. Yeah. And then outside of that, they don't really have nothing to talk about because mm-hmm. society has come to a screeching halt. You can't defend a man who basically stood back and called this a hoax. You can't defend it. Yeah. I mean, you can't defend it to the point. And this is what I told people. I'm like, you really can't defend it now because the money is fucked up. Mm-hmm. His whole motherfucking thing was the economy. So they were paired. Oh, the economy is great. The economy is fucked up right now. Oh, oh. We, don't, we don't know if this shit is going to go on later on into the fall. And only solution they can come up with is giving us a motherfucking $1,200 check that's not even going to last through the month. Mm-mm-mm. Especially for a person whose job has laid them off and furloughed yeah. them. What is $1,200 going to do? I mean, Absolutely that's fucking like, nothing. Area, that's, that's not even a rent. The rent. Right, that's not even a rent. No, you got cut. We got countries over you Europe of coming up to give people a monthly wage, you know, until this shit is over. And all our government, the richest government in the United States, the richest country in the planet, the most technologically advanced country in the planet, we're really starting to see how fucked up our country is and how weak our type of government is, is because the only thing, the only solution they can come up with. Is twelve hundred dollars for the citizens, but they're giving billions of dollars away to corporations mm-hmm. unchecked. So this is where we see that our government really don't give a fuck about people. It only give a fuck about businesses and corporations. Trump was willing to, and it, it came out today in the news. I read it in the, um, the Huffington Post today that during one of these meetings. Trump suggested that why don't we just let the coronavirus? And these are his words wash over the country and just let people get infected that way they'll build a herd immunity to it and then we can get back to business it was dr fauci who told him well if you do that millions of people will die he was willing to make that sacrifice of your grandmama Mm. your grandpapa your mama your father your children your own ass 
He was willing to sacrifice your health and your well-being in order to open back up businesses. Businesses that were going to be there, but weren't going to be no people that patronize the business because they're going to be fucking dead. So nobody's, I don't think nobody's defending Trump right now. <laughs> I don't even know how he's still alive, to be honest. And the FBI may come knock on my door for saying that, but I really don't understand it. Well, it's it's nothing wrong. I mean, you shouldn't want to, you shouldn't say, I want this to happen. I'm not going to lose no sleep. If somebody sneezed on that motherfucker, he caught the corona and died. Hey, ain't he 70? Wouldn't he 74? 77. 77? Donald Trump is 77 years old. 74. I, 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 I'm going to check it right now, but I think Donald Trump well, Biden is, is 77. Biden is 77. Um, Bernie Sanders is 78. Right. Let me see. Donald First of all, Trump, these motherfuckers are just too old to be running for president. Anyway, they're too, too old. Too white. Too old. And there needs to be a cap on running for president as I say. He's 73. He's 73. 73. He'll be 74. Well, ain't that a damn shame when he's the youngest one running for president? 70. It's, 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 it's bad, but what's fucked up is that unless people are willing to risk their life and they help to go out and vote, the same incompetent motherfucker will be right back in office. That's what I'm saying. Same incompetent motherfucker will be right back in office. This, shit ain't, going, this shit ain't going to what soon. I don't it's see not. Biden beating him. Biden ain't going to be him. No, Biden could be. If we didn't have this situation going on, I think Biden would beat him. I think Biden would beat him if the electorate went out to vote. I think that people are going to be too scared to go out and vote unless, you know, you're talking about six feet and people going, ain't nobody gonna wanna go and take that risk. Is he the risk? Is he the risk your life or exercise your right to vote? Which one is it? But you gotta get that, you gotta get this dumb motherfucker out of the office because we see right now that in, in real time form, Trump cannot handle a crisis. He can't. Oh, he's a businessman. He's not he can't. He cannot handle a crisis. If he can sit up and the, the, the most fighting he's doing is fighting the press from asking him real questions. Outside of that, he's not built for this. He's not. He's letting, we've outpaced China in infections. We just outpaced Italy in deaths. Right now, we over 300,000 infections. We over 20,000 in, in deaths. This shit, is, this shit is not going away no time soon. So yeah, Y'all get used to being locked down to at least till August. I'm okay with it because this is the way I live my life anyway. Okay with it too. Barely anything has changed for me. Nothing has changed for me. So, so no sex for you, Chris. <laughs> has that changed? Chris, Chris, Chris no, we understand you're not fucking. We, we totally get it. Don't 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 I'm, def- I'm not insulted by that. We, I mean, don't don't, don't let that fool you. Don't, she wants somebody, she wants somebody to put a knot in her back, but I would rather be with somebody that I actually want to be with and actually do things with than somebody that's with Oh, did she say something? Now, did you just talk earlier about said the same thing all women say. I'd rather have somebody that wants me in blah, 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 blah. She said that's the shit she talking until she gets some liquor in her system. When she gets some liquor in her system, the whole story changes. No, that's wine. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about drunk. It has some... Shut up. Mm-hmm. So, me mm-hmm. want to... We want a relationship is is difficult for y'all to, to fathom. Is that what it is? If that was consistently across the board, but like I say, if you get some alcohol into your system, you turn into a damn Vanessa Del Rio, damn near. <laughs> damn near. Ain't no damn near. It is. How's so, that? so what they say is a, a sober, a sober mouth. I'm not a drunk mouth. Uh-huh. Drunk uh-huh. mouth speaks a sober mind. So apparently, when you're drunk. Your drunk says to that to that other motherfucker, bitch, shut up. I'm here now. <laughs> Get that bullshit out of here. Real Chris, yeah. We motherfucker, we don't want to hear that shit. It's the representative. Fun girl, Chris. fun girl Chris is here. The representative, yo, you take, take, take the night off. I thought Man, we you can say because you know it's true. Look at you. She can't say nothing. Because uh, y'all ain't gonna let y'all, y'all ain't gonna believe me. So it's fine, it's cool. It's no, fine. we're not. We're not. You know, and it's good that you know with you, and that's that's part of growth. When you know that you bullshitting and people don't believe your bullshit, <laughs> you don't try to continue to push your bullshit off on people. Exactly. You be like, you like, you know what? Mm-hmm, just go ahead and stand down. I know, I know, I know. I've been going to sleep every day this week around ten o'clock. 
That's because you're drunk. You get drunk. drunk. I wasn't drunk. You drunk. The night where you supposed to do the show. Hey, I I forgot. I, I fell asleep. This funky bitch. This motherfucker. What night was this? Tuesday. I don't know, but okay. So this Chris, hits me here's the me. here's the story behind Trump's name, Mister Unprofessional. Yeah, here's, Mr. Unprofessional. Here's, here's the story. Okay. One night. One Everybody night. is live on Instagram, right? So I'm thinking, well. Let's get some following on Instagram with his people and my people and then spread it out. Man, let's go live because me and him had been joking on text message and it was some fun. I forgot what we was talking about, but it was some funny shit we was going yeah, back and forth talking about. It so I'm like, we need to have this conversation so everybody can hear. So I said, we should go live. So you're like, man, go live on IG. That was the first problem. That's when I first knew it was a problem. Because see, Trump, Trump is always thinking, let's do it on the platform. No, nigga, let's do it on Instagram so we can bring people to this, right? Uh huh. So I'm like, you know what time you want to do it? He Ten o'clock. To do it. I said, okay, I'll do it. I asked him what I asked him what time. I didn't suggest the time. I didn't suggest the time. This is like a girl saying, "I want to come over and I want to suck your dick," and then you be like, "All right, cool." I mean, no, no, no. A dude say he want to come over and blow your back out. And you looking forward to that meat pounding in your flesh, right? <laughs> and you be like, cool. What time you coming over? Oh, I'm coming over at 10 o'clock. All right, cool. You didn't shave the hoo-ha, you know, <laughs> shave the legs and the armpits. What kind of comparison you know, is this shit? Put the powder down, lube it up real good to get it nice and soft. All that for Instagram. Now, 45 come, you send him a text message that says... What's your ETA? He don't respond. I was knocked the fuck out. You know he what? He don't respond. You call the motherfucker. Goes to voicemail. Okay, here go the bullshit. 10 o'clock comes around. 10.05 comes around. 10.15 you know comes around. 10.20 comes around. What are you doing at 10.20? You getting out of that sexy shit? You going to get them old... Raggedy ass pajama pants that you wear. Your sweats. You getting out of all of your sexy shit because now you're not in the fucking mood no more. So you got out of your sexy shit around ten twenty. So ten thirty three, the motherfucker hits you like, oh, what were you I, wearing, TJ? I fell. I fell asleep. <laughs> Let's do it now. I was ready. What are you saying, Chris? At ten thirty three. Like fuck it, it's over with now. Moments passed. Please look. Let me tell you what I was. You, I was, I was knocked out on that. Let me, so what I, I said was, was, I'm gonna tell you the exact time I went to sleep. What night was this? I don't know. I thought y'all said Tuesday. No, it was after Tuesday. It had to be after Tuesday. No, anyway, no. uh, I fell asleep on the couch at probably like nine nine twenty actually, because I was watching something and then I was like, shit, let me. I'm tired, but it was shit, Tuesday. By the time we start, I'm gonna just get a quick. I should have known. I'm gonna get a quick suit snooze in. Wake up at like 10 25 or 10 30 or something. I tell him, like, oh shit, I see he called. Well, I'm like, oh shit, my bad. <laughs> you let's do it now. Now, he, he already got took all of, off his sexy, shit, like he said, and got undressed. And it, it <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, that was my next. That's why I say, look, we do this shit tonight. It's got to be before 10 because I know if I wait to 10, my ass gonna go to sleep. Oh, yeah, that's just I'm starting to see that this week I've been going to sleep before 10. It ain't the Rona, but um, you know, <laughs> ever since I had that pussy, I've been sleeping before 10. I don't know what it is. I don't know. Maybe it's sex Rona. Maybe sex you can transmit Rona through sex. I don't know. But well, anyway, so be. basically, basically what I said was I'm like, motherfucker, use a professional. Yeah, he sent me a whole motherfucking text. I, I, I went to I'm because I'm like, so here's here it is. Tonight, he said, "You want to do motherfucking? You want to do dudes talk shit tonight?" I said, "Yeah." He said, "Dudes talk shit later tonight." I said, "What time?" He said, "Let me be sure this nine p.m." I said, "Which means somewhere between nine thirty and nine forty-five, because he's never fucking on time." Who was who was late tonight? What time did you send me the motherfucking? The send me the list. The, the list. Do I need to go to the email? Did yes, you, go, you to the email. go to the sent, email. You sent me the link at motherfucking. You sent me the link at fucking 8.33. 8.33, right. And then you hit me at what time and say I just sent the link. 
833. No, who knows going on at nine? This you got is, to make an 833. This, this is why this is, this is two. This why you don't that's just why you don't what time does that say? That says 910. That's what's nine ten. But what time was the email sent? It's twenty twenty. You don't it's get this email. It's eight thirty three. The, the the link was sent at eight thirty three. But you right. said we was going live at nine o'clock. You right. didn't contact me I and tell me the... early. That don't mean I check my email. See, this that old man shit. You don't check the email at nine ten. You said I sent. How the do link. I normally send the link to your email? If you knew he's going on at nine. I'm sending. Okay, here's so the you link. so so you sent it to me a I, whole I, half I, hour early to, to try to prove a point. Look, I sent it to you before we were. I was on here now. You so full of shit. I was on here now. You sent it. You don't have. Hey, you increase, the, increase the size to Chris's apartment. I'm trying to see something. Chris got a house. Well, increase the window to her house. I'm trying to see hold something. Hold on, hold on. Let me see something. Let, let's peek into her shit. Ain't let's let's look. Can't. Let's let's be friends. let's be people times in their shit. <laughs> we looking at your shit right now. We looking at your shit. Move the camera around. Look, show us what, what you move got. that chair. I don't want y'all to see my dirty ass. Huh? See, oh, I thought I, I thought that I thought that shit was junky. This your basement or your living room? No, this is my living room. That's why she don't get no dick. The that's why she don't get no dick because she don't keep her house clean. I do have. <laughs> Yeah. I'm having an argument down right on right now because I'm yeah you're right <laughs> falling off man see don't you, was, don't you hate when motherfuckers say I, got, uh, I would let you come over but my apartment dirty bitch I'm not trying to fuck your apartment <laughs> is your pussy clean that's all, up, all I need to know we you ain't got the roaches up. and is your pussy clean that's it that's all we <laughs> care about. You can stand up and fuck. No, I'm not fucking nobody that got roaches. I'm just not gonna. Oh do no, it. no, I'm not doing that because them motherfuckers travel and they they, they follow you home. Yep. Oh, and new they, nigga. Yep. <laughs> yeah. He ain't got no roach smell on him. Let's introduce ourselves. Hold on, but like, where we going? Put your pants out. Crawl in the nigga pocket. <laughs> he ain't got no money. He ain't gonna go in his pocket. <laughs> oh, go ahead. <laughs> oh God, I had experience about that. I ain't trying to remember that shit. Oh God. Oh, uh, somebody has some roaches. Oh my god, I, I had to when I was in Alabama. I did too. It was ugh. oh I, didn't I can't do it. Look, I, I but I didn't find out they was they was hiding. They was they they did not come out no, until until was, it was out all day. Motherfucker roaches be like this. That was about them blue so was oh. about them. The motherfuckers didn't come out till out uh, 30 minutes in. And I'm sitting there watching the movie, and I felt something like, "What the fuck?" I thought my arm was itching. You know what I'm saying? I was like, what, the fuck? "What the fuck?" I looked down. I just, "Oh shit!" Like that. She said, "What's wrong?" I said, "It's a roach on me." She's like, "Where did that come from?" I'm like, "What the fuck you think it came? It ain't come from me." I'm like, "This came from you. This in your couch." So then she lift up the pillow, shaking. A couple more motherfuckers was under there. Oh, I'm I'm getting ready to leave. I stood the fuck up. I said, "I ain't sitting back now." I'm going. I'm going out to the park lot. I'm yeah. shaking all my shit out my shit, before yeah. I put it in the car, and then I'm getting the fuck out of there. If I see a roach in a woman's house, I ain't doing it. That's it. It's a wrap. You, you, nah. I don't even want you to come with me because they probably up in you somewhere. Thank so now, nah. I remember back in the day. Back in the day, I had this little chick over to my house. I was doing a threesome with her friend, and the bitch opened her purse up, and the dead roach fell out. Oh. God. That threesome was over. It was in my house. I was like, uh-uh, you got to take that purse outside, son. Oh, no, no, you got to take your whole purse You got to get that out of here. That. You got roaches? Nah. But oh, once you get the motherfuckers, you don't get rid of them. No, because they multiply fast as shit. Oh, God. Right. Mm -mm. I'm done with this shit. I don't even want to talk about this. Room. I was going to eat some. I ain't eat shit now. Mm -hmm. right, eat some almonds. <laughs> Man, I ain't eating shit now. I'm drinking some water. And that's it. <laughs> this has been episode 42 of Dudes Talk Shit. You want to say something? Say goodbye, Chris. Are you going to... Yeah, what, what positive changes y'all think is going to come out of this on a lockdown? Oh, you go first, Trump. This is the new normal. This is the new normal. You, 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 The mask is the new normal. You're about to see niggas designing and selling masks on the corner. You know what they, I'm saying? Huh? They doing that already. Look at you. Look, already, already doing it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is the new normal. Six feet. Um, they grocery stores. Uh, uh, ten people at a time. Uh, uh, uh yeah. The, the, the arenas. Um, half full. Mandated to be half full. This is the new normal. You think any anything positive though? I I think I think something. I think. Maybe people learn how to wash their fucking ass and hands. Maybe that's the positive thing about it. I think a lot of us going to detox because I haven't had, like I said earlier, I really don't have the urge to go to McDonald's, sit in nobody drive through. I don't want, 
you know, like we take out food, you know, I started cooking more. I, some people said they drank a whole lot of water, a whole lot more water. They've lost weight. They exercise more. They spend more time with their family. Fucking. I don't think that that's, I don't think that that's necessarily going to continue. What I do hope is this, and this is just me. And I'm only thinking from black people. Um, we need to take this as an opportunity to do some self-improvement. I'm, um, it just so happened to be, a, I was being a pervert on, of course, on Pornhub, came across this white chick who only does anal, went to her IG page, started following this little fat white chick, and then come to find out she, she does trading. Like, she shows on some of her cups of her, her ass out. And then some of them, she shows the screen to her trading screen. Now, while everybody is, she has the questions on IG asking, you know, ask a question. Everybody is asking her about sex. I start asking her about the trading. Because I, I don't give a fuck about none of that. I'm seeing you making for every day. You looking at your tick going for $5,000 a day of her doing day trading. So I asked her about that, and she told me about this website, and I already forgot it already because I've, I've registered for it. But um, she has a lot of information. She got, and I suggested, I'm like, this is cool, but you should create a page um, to instruct people about trading. So she's actually she created the page, but she's actually starting tomorrow. I'm saying that to say that I, I wish people would use this as an opportunity to learn a new skill, learn something new, you know, go online and study for an IT certification, go online, study for a, for your real estate exam, go online and learn something besides using this time to make, um, don't rush challenge videos. And clean up your credit. Yeah, shit like that. Use this time constructively because if you don't, you're going to look back and say, I had a whole month, two months, three months, four months where I could have really done something to improve my situation because I didn't have to worry about travel time back and forth to work. I didn't have to worry about coming home and I have to prepare meals and help with homework. You at home, your children at home, you have all this time. Sit down with your children and teach them a new skill. But don't just fuck this time off. I'm getting ready to start culinary school online, for real. Just because it's something I want to do. I actually mm -hmm. have an IT course. I haven't started yet. I'm also uh, taking classes for my master's. So I'm doing a little bit. You should you know, take but culinary I, school. You need to take culinary school. Look, I can cook without burning down the house. I'm good. Take culinary school. But what about you? What do you think Pazzi is going to come out of it? Who, me? Yeah, you. I already said it. Oh, you already said Okay. Well, hey, hey, I got one more thing, too. We're learning gym memberships. So for some of us are a waste of time. Yes, they We're are. It's well, a waste I, of time. They waste the money and time, and here's a another thing. We waste the money, like we don't need to shop all the damn time. What What do you need? What do you really need? Here's another thing. I hope this you took you for those who don't. I hope you've learned from this to always fucking be prepared. Learn how to shop in bulk, because if this shit happens again soon, and I'm pretty sure it will, it'll be ten times as worse this time. Because and the I next time it I happens, you ask. Save up three to six months living expenses because sometimes for some people it's just get some you know, indoor <laughs> indoor food seeds. Get some indoor food seeds so you can plant some food indoors. You know what I'm saying? Because the next shit might be a real airborne virus that you can't even open your door to, and you can't go outside. So what you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? You can't go and stock up on toilet paper at Costco because you can't go out. So now you better have it. Learn how to shop and bought for things you need. Get plenty of food on the side. If it's okay now, don't think you can... No. Stock your shit up. Get plenty of batteries. Get plenty of water. You know what I'm saying? Because if the wa if the electricity go, what you going to do? If they cut the water off, what you going to do? Well, I got plenty of charcoal on my hands. So I hope people learn that lesson first and foremost, because this time next year, if it's another joint around... You might, not get, you might not get so lucky next you, time. You might not that, get so lucky. Because it, it, it this honestly... Is a test run, not saying that there was some man-made thing behind it. I mean, that's that's just a conversation for another day. But if there's I, anything that is showing, it's showing that 
this is going to be natural selection. Yeah. Those that are strong mentally and physically, those that are prepared, prepared are going to be better equipped to, to deal with something like this yep. as opposed to those that bullshit. Yep. And I just got to say this. All you bitches out here that talk about y'all don't need no man. Where we at with that, Chris? Mm. We had this conversation before a couple well, of weeks back. I'm Would you? Still alive. You still I'm... you're still alive, but wouldn't it be easier if you had a man, not just a male, but if you had a man around? How so? Would it be easier? How do you think? I, it would be? I'm, I'm asking. Would, do you think it would be easier for you? Would you find it? Would you? Would well, see? I don't want the full responsibilities of a house. I want to share that with somebody. I don't want to have to be responsible for cooking, cleaning, this, that, that, and other. I would like me to take care of responsibilities that are traditionally a man's. She could take care of things that are traditionally a woman. And we come together and we build something. I, I don't understand. I don't understand how women have adopted this ideology that I don't need no man. I don't want no man. I, I, I never hear men say that. I don't need a woman. I don't want a woman. I didn't. I'm Unless they're gay. Perfectly honest, I didn't adopt that ideology because it made me feel good to say, I don't need no man, I want no man. I did what I had to do as an adult. That's it. There's no magic formula behind it. That's it. I couldn't sit around and wait on a man. I was still being South Carolina Woods at my grandmama's house, you know? So I had to do things that put myself in a better position. That's just it. It's just adulting. I'm just doing it single. And a lot of times when we do let men in, some of y'all fuck it up. I don't know. Y'all got real quiet. I, mean, I don't know what to tell you. We're letting, we're letting you go. That's this is it. I believe me. I would love. I had a friend of mine last day here, strictly platonic, but it was nice coming home and somebody else cooked, somebody else was putting out the trash, somebody else was cutting the grass, somebody else to talk to. But I can't sit around and lean on that. You know what I'm saying? Shit still goes on. That's it. <laughs> well, look, I tell you this, man. But you want to be my man, CJ? You want to come help me out? Let me explain something to you. Go ahead, give me one. Go Let ahead. me explain something to you, Chris. You're full yeah. of shit. How am I full and of I was, I would, I would not want to invest too much time trying to put together puzzle pieces. When all of them ain't there, it's clear you crazy. It's clear you nutty as a motherfucking fruitcake. Chris, you are fine. You are you are your good looking woman. What's but <laughs> you a good looking woman. But what dude would not wife you up by now? Ask them that. I'm not for everybody. Well, you ain't with nobody, so never mind. <laughs> let me just I, let me just say this because I can't talk because I well well you know that's kind of about but anyway ain't y'all single too I, well I, well look let me just say this I don't know what's going on uh, I ain't speaking for him no more but look let me just say let this me just go ahead and put this out here so it ain't no, it ain't no fucking secret I'm about to get married okay so uh, speaking of that is that the uh, everything going on there I'm guessing that's 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 why I hope this shit is up by July 1st. Yeah. So I can use my plane ticket and my motherfucking um, resort credits. Let me just say this. Uh, being quarantined and having mm. the opposite sex, that's great. That's cool. But the backlash of that, what if you quarantine with a motherfucker you just can't stand? The and that's, what can that's, you do? That's, What's that's, even worse? I'd rather that, be by myself. That's, 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 but see... Okay, you just entered into your 40s, right? Yep. So the wisdom, you got the knowledge leading up to this point. So now you're going through the stage of wisdom, which will bring you into understanding. And when you come into understanding, you will motherfucking say, I ain't got no business with no motherfucker that I can't stand anyway. And see, when you're stupid, you end up fucking with somebody that you can't. I, look. I've done that. I got children. I got five kids by five different women. What did that tell you about me? <laughs> <laughs> Stick and go. Stick and go. I got babies by one motherfuckers that I can't stand. 
And that's what they tell you in the box. I mean, stick and go, stick, stick and go, move, stick and move, stick and move. But as as now, I tell I tell all my children, if 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 I knew now, if I knew then what I know now, would none of y'all be here? I, y'all mama would have washed all y'all out y'all out the hair. I just skeeted all in her eyelashes. Y'all have been y'all have been in her stomach. None of you motherfuckers would be here. <laughs> y'all have been in her stomach. Right, you'd have been in swimming in stomach ass. Yep. If I had my motherfucker wet, <laughs> climbing up somebody's motherfucker small intestines. If oh. I had my motherfucker wet, oh, oh God. Chris, you ever but, had anything Chris. swimming up your intestines before? No, no. no. All that ass, all that ass. You never had ass sex? No. Uh, she ain't gonna say it anyway. You know, get a I get a drunk. She'll give a different answer. It's not my thing. And I'm I, I was not gonna submit and do that with a motherfucker. I was just fucking with to be fucking with. I you didn't whoa, 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 whoa. Back it up. What? In order for you to know it's not your thing, you have to know that you tried it. But it, I'm not gonna be like, oh have you tried it? Fucking around. I'm not giving you have you, you tried it? No. How you know you don't like do you might you don't like it? I may find out one day. I can't answer just completely. She would be a great polit politician because she does not give straight answers. She don't. She, she don't, don't, don't get no straight answers. It, well, it makes sense to me. Mm. It wasn't what? It said makes sense to me. It wouldn't make sense to you? It doesn't make sense to me. I mean, I don't do it because I'm, my pain is too big, but that's that's a whole nother. Let me, let me, the next time you come on this show, Chris. Yes. You, you must be drunk. <laughs> and here's the, here's the challenge I'm going to give to you. And I'll join you. Don't worry. Um, we're going to next time you come on the show, me and you are going to drink through the whole show. Mm. Yeah, we ain't gotta drive nowhere. We're going to drink through the entire show. When you finish a cup, have your bottle there ready. We got to get some other guests on. Chris, I know you got some fine women. Don't you you can't share the link with them the next time? I'll see what I can do. Why do y'all women do that? I see what I can do means no. No, it doesn't. You yes, got doesn't. friends, I've seen your friends. I see what I can do. Just invite him on the show. But do you must, me and you are going to drink the next time. Dudes talk shit, drink challenge, Chris versus Trump. Yeah, I'm going to be the referee. Yeah, he'd be the referee. I'm going to call I'm out. I'm going to call out. We're going to talk and then I'm going to have a timer. And y'all not going to know what the timer is. I'm going to yeah. set the timer. And, and every time that timer goes off, y'all going to have to take a shot. Bingo. Yeah. Bingo. And, and, yeah, and it got, and we got, and look, here's the key because you could be bullshitting and say it's vodka and it's actually water. So you have, we, I have to, we have we to, got see, to the see you pour it. We have to see you pour it. In fact, we don't even want the motherfucker bottle open until the show starts. Bingo. Bingo. That you way that you won't water. fill up the motherfucking Patron bottle with fucking sink water. So we're going to make so, sure. I could have my first bottle in advance. Okay. You can have whatever bottle you can have to. Just don't break the seal on it until we see it. Okay. So we'll when, when, when we when you want to schedule this next Sunday, she ain't doing shit. Ain't none of us doing shit next Sunday. I mean, that's the time we used to tape back in the day anyway. So next Sunday night. Okay. Okay. All right. Cool. Nineteen. What's the date? Yeah, seven plus twelve is nineteen. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah right, yeah, that's it. Dudes talk shit episode 42. Um, thank you, Chris, for coming on. Um, give this link to a couple to one of to a couple of your fine friends next week because we need two referees. Make sure she cute. I still flirt. Yeah, I still can't believe you said you get married. Why was that fine? Why do you find that so shocking? It was just random. You want to have this conversation on the air? You want to wait till Trump go go off? We'll talk offline. Okay. Go offline, Trump. I'm about to go off there. Everybody about to go off. Y'all two had that conversation between y'all because I'm done. All right, y'all. Dude told you episode 42. We'll see y'all uh, next time. Peace All out. Right. Peace.